Hello there and welcome back cruisers, we have yet another daily cruise news updates just for you. Thank you for joining as we delve in today with four stories as Cruise Line answers plea of stranded students. River collision involving cruise ship? We have a new ship depart for Florida and another huge story. So join us as we delve fully into all these updates brought to you directly from CruiseHive.com. Lerwick Harbour in Shetland, Scotland welcomed the largest cruise ship in its history on May the 20th as the Maltese-flagged MSC Virtuosa made its maiden visit, breaking a nearly six-year record. The 332-metre-long vessel, built in France in 2020, accommodates almost 6,500 passengers and over 1,700 crew members. Weighing over 181,500 gross tons, MSC Virtuosa arrived from Southampton on a seven-day Norwegian fjords voyage. The previous record was held by MSC Virtuosa's sister ship, MSC Meraviglia, which visited in July 2018. This visit marks a record-setting year for Lerick Port, as it expects to welcome 148 vessels and approximately 130,000 passengers by mid-November. P&O Cruises Australia has come to the aid of a stranded group of Australian students in Vanuatu by offering them a free cruise home. The students, part of the Hive Rotary Club Australia, were left without a way to return after Air Vanuatu declared insolvency on May the 9th. The group of 16 teenagers and their chaperones had joint projects in Vanuatu that included problem-solving sessions, work on a local clinic and commitments to fundraising to continue healthcare efforts, boarded the Pacific Adventure on May 17th and are expected to arrive in Sydney on May 23rd. This generous gesture follows a social media plea for assistance after their airline grounded all flights. The Margaritaville at Sea Islander has embarked on a three-week journey to Tampa in Florida following extensive renovations at Harland and Wolf Shipyard in Belfast in Northern Ireland. The refit, which began on January the 10th, included redesigning public areas to reflect a tropical theme and the ship's hull has also been repainted for the new look with tropical colours, palm trees and parrots and a variety of behind-the-scenes technical upgrades for peak efficiency. The almost 86,000 gross ton ship, formerly Costa Atlantica, will offer four to seven night cruises starting June the 14th, visiting destinations such as Cozumel, Key West and Progreso. A collision between a river cruise boat and a smaller motorboat on the River Danube in Hungary over the weekend resulted in two deaths, with five others missing. The incident occurred on May the 18th near the town of Viros, about 30 miles north of Budapest, as the accident was first noted when a 35-year-old man with a head wound was found by police. An immediate search found the bodies of a man and a woman nearby. The cruise boat Heidelberg was later found docked in Camarom with damage to its hull. The search for the missing individuals involved 95 personnel, 25 vessels, two rescue divers and drones. The captain of the Heidelberg has been detained as the investigation continues. And that's it for me today, cruisers. My name is Paul and all the news you require is over on cruisehive.com. Now, if anyone has any news, you can email us at newstips at cruisehive.com. Please show your support by liking our video and please subscribing to our channel. I hope you have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.